Namaste everyone and welcome to Parma's Kitchen Palace. Kitchen is the heart of the house. Today I want to show you the heart of our house, our kitchen, where food is prepared, not only using the ingredients, but also with love. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe my channel. Welcome to our kitchen. Our kitchen is in L shape. Opposite to the stove, we have a refrigerator and uh, on this side, we have few more cabinets with the oven. Let's start from this side. So next to the oven, we have two cabinets on both the sides. So let's take a look of the one of the cabinet. In this cabinet, I have storing all the spices here. I'm using the brew glass containers to store all the all the masala powders which gives a nice vibrant color i have labeled on the bottom not on top of the glass and uh, here i'm using few pulses and powders which i use most for cooking and also the less used ones are kept on top In the bottom, in this pull-out drawer, all the ladles are stored. I'm using this adjustable rack to store them and also pinwheel is stored here. In the bottom one, all the floors are stored here like a ragi flour, wheat flour, rice flour and all. And also in this white basket, I'm using, I'm storing onions in the bottom one, all the heavy items are kept here. I am using it to store rice and also my Instapot. We have a granite countertop. And uh, we have a 5 burner range. And this is our backsplash and we have a nice art in the middle which gives a nice look to the kitchen. And a hood, we have three settings, exhaust and a light. Under the range, we have two more drawers where I use to, where I store most of my cooking uh, containers. Here, I'm storing all my steel containers and uh, this is a lid organizer which is really helpful to it helps in keeping the space clutter free clean and very easy to access. And in the bottom rack all the heavy steel containers and a big oak and few more few non-stick containers are stored here i avoid using the non-stick as much as possible as they are not healthy next i have one spoon rester here and on the other side of the cabinet i'm using these ikea containers to store all the pulses spices which i use for day-to-day -day cooking in the topmost rack all the ready masala powders like a pani puri powder, kasuti methi, biryani powder, those are all stored in the topmost rack. Next one is a corner one. In this, in the bottom most, I have this three tier organizer which I am using to store all the plates size wise and also steel plates. And also steel jug is stored here. Next is for the glass containers. I nested the containers size wise one inside the other. These I use for baking and also for serving purpose. Next I have few corolla containers and also porcelain jug which is mostly for the serving purpose. Next is a very narrow cabinet 
where small balls are stored here. Next to this is a two door cabinet. In the bottom most, I have this organizer from the from got it from Amazon, which is really been helpful. You can adjust the width based on your cabinet size, and also it creates this two layer which gives this additional space for storage. In the bottom, I'm storing all the coffee mugs. In the top, few bowls and few serving plates are kept. Next, I have this all these glass cups. The tall ones are for the water and small ones are for the juice. That's how I use it as. Next, I kept all few extra mixy jars, coffee mug, steel cups and few assorted character cups which my little one uses. In the topmost shelf, I kept few serving containers and also few extra bowls. This is the countertop. In the corner, I am placing the knife organizer and a paper towel and some artificial plant which gives nice vibrant color to the kitchen. Next to the stove in the bottom, we have this narrow pull-out cabinet. I'm storing like a small items like a mustard, jeera, pepper powder and cinnamon, cloves, which we don't use much in these cute glass containers, which also I got it from Ikea. And also a sofa and toothpicks are stored here. In the next drawer i i kept salt pepper crusher homemade ghee here in the bottom one nutella coconut oil saffron and few other items are placed here all the assorted items i'm keeping here so it is not visible in the corner rack Usually Lazy Susan comes here which is like a rotatable rack uh, but for some reason they have not installed it so I am using it to store all the big items like a cooker and also I put divider here and in the bottom I have this uh, idli rack and in the top few steel containers and a collider and also cutting boards are placed here and a few extra ladles and a few extra steel containers and also oil is placed here next we have four drawers in the topmost we have these dividers to for the cutleries in the back we have paper clips which are used to close the open bags next we have foil pressing seal and scissors also scrapers are placed here next we have placed glass and also these copper straws i try using use and throw plastic straws instead i use this copper straws which comes with a cleaner also in the bottom most where i am storing coasters mittens measuring cups glass opener wine opener are all placed here next to this i have one more pull out drawer where i am storing all my bowls in the bottom we have two bins the front one is for the garbage and the back one is for the recycling plastic and glass containers I try to keep my countertop as much as possible clutter free. We have a two window here which is facing to our backyard. We get na ample of natural sunlight and I placed few handmade vases here, vases here and also my kids made some 
seashell art. Double sink here. And uh, we have a water filtered water faucet attached and a dishwasher with a scrubber I placed like this. Under the sink, most of the space is taken by the water filter. This is the main unit where the regular water goes in and it filters through four filters. This is one of the filter here and under in the plastic bag we kept three filters which are adjacent to each other. Extra plastic bags are stored here in this container and that uh, dishwasher detergent is kept here and that red one is a food crusher where in the sink if the food particles are stuck and if the water is not flowing properly then we have a switch here if i turn on this uh, steel switch press this one then the crusher turns on then it breaks down all the food particles so that the water flows easily next to the sink i have this bamboo plant which been there from many many years we have few green leaves in the top and one another decorative item here in the top we have one cabinet here here i kept in this bin all the general medicine instead of storing separately i kept in this bin which is easy to access and few extra vases flask are all stored here we have a recess light in the kitchen and also nice beautiful wood crown molding which gives a additional nice look for the kitchen next to the sink we have a dishwasher we have a two dishwasher here usually it comes with the single dishwasher but we have two which we can use it separately or together based on the load of the dish. Here we have a two door refrigerator. I will make a refrigerator video another time and post it. Uh, this one side is the refrigerator, other side is the freezer. We have ice, water and light settings here. Other side we have a floor to ceiling cabinet with three doors. In the top door, uh, in this shelf I've stored extra few decorative items and uh, other stuff. I ordered this two tier organizer which comes very handy for the bathroom or for the kitchen organizer which I had to use it. And uh, I got this like an organizer with the handle which is very easy to helpful to organize either uh, in the cabinet kitchen or even in the refrigerator in this basket i'm storing few cookies biscuit and pani puri which i have to keep in stock and also kids lunch box goes here in the next drawer uh, it is pull out drawer or some in this basket indian snacks are stored here few soda and also kids juices i'm storing here in the next pull out drawer in this basket few kids snacks are stored here and also cereal and mixed nuts are here which we use to eat just like that or with the cereal in the bottom door we have two more pull out drawers in here few snacks which i send with kids for the lunch bag are stored here and also microwaveable popcorn I'm placed here. In the bottom most drawer, all the pans are stored. Next is the microwave. Above the microwave, I have one more drawer where all the paper goods are stored. Paper plates, cutleries, and also extra ziplock, aluminum foil are placed here. I have this caddy which comes in very handy when we have guests or friends over where I place 
cutleries, cups, plates all in one. Here we have microwave and, uh, and below the microwave is the oven. Under the oven, we have one more drawer which I used to store all the baking needs and also few of the grilling supplies also. I had to tell about this grill mat which is very easy to clean and also it is reusable so you don't have to worry about scrubbing the barbecue grill every time after use. I will try to provide the link in the description. Next to that, we have two door cabinet. In this red basket, I am storing all the candles here. Sometimes I try to light on the candle which gives a nice cozy warm feeling. And in that grey basket, I am storing all the assorted tea bags like a green tea, black tea and all. So instead of storing it separately, you know, it is easy to access and also looks nice. And uh, I'm using jaggery powder, complain are all here. And also this organizer with the handle, I'm using it to store all the hair oil. Bottom shelf, I have the sugar, lemongrass, coffee and also natural sweetener are stored. In this countertop, I have placed paper pencil sharpener soft tissue and two charger one to charge the phone one for the watch and below this we have three drawers this drawer is like an all-in-one drawer i can say so we have some pencils pens some book pads to list the grocery to make the grocery list or for some other purpose some torch, paper clips, coins, everything is stored here. And also we have this charger organizer here, which comes in very handy for traveling and all. Uh, it ha you know, you can store all your extra chargers. You can label them also. And the next one is my glass container organizer. I have organized like a size wise and also shape wise. All the round ones are here and the rectangles are in this size and also a few glass cups which might have seen in many of my cooking videos. Bottom one is for the plastic. I don't use much plastic containers. These are mostly go-to containers and also my kids thermos are placed here and I have few glass jars which like you know for when friends are here to pack some extra sambar or something like that i use those for opposite to this i have three door cabinet from floor to ceiling length in the topmost i'm using these to store some serving items bottom one is mainly my husband's uh alcohol are uh, stored here with a uh, like a wine cups and in the bottom most i have stored all the extra groceries here these all the shelves are adjustable so based on your needs you can adjust the height of the shelves under all the top cabinets they have added these light fittings which has three settings of medium and high when it is turned on the light reflects on the granite countertop which gives a nice look to the kitchen and uh, another thing is for every cabinet every drawer I put this plastic liner which which also I got from Ikea which is a big roll you can cut it to the size of your cabinet which 
avoids from any scratches and keeps it clean and it is very easy to clean also and our kitchen has a hardwood floor and under the sink i put this mat which is dark in color so you know and also avoids from any waters and below the range we have this rug the anti strain one you don't feel much strain if you stand for long time also and also it is waterproof so this is the tour of our kitchen hope you all liked it let me know your comments and everyone be happy be healthy and be safe take care